It looks like just another conference, but the world's top scientists are here producing the definitive assessment of what global warming means for us and what we should do. And officials from more than a hundred countries have been checking the conclusions line by line. Already we know their worries about polar bears and other species as the temperatures rise. And the scientists say they're virtually certain our pollution is mostly to blame. Africa, they say, will be among the regions to be hardest hit. Droughts are forecast to become more severe, threatening food shortages. And the solution? Well, the scientists say we need to shift to technologies like this, a solar thermal power station. But observers say governments must now respond. This leaves the ball in the court of the politicians. Uh, this is thousands of scientists who've worked for five years to compile this report. They have explained it to governments, they have summarized it in a language that policymakers can understand. Now it is up to us to act. The problem is how to reduce greenhouse gases. There are major disputes ahead about which countries should make the deepest cuts. And all the time, the warnings about the impacts continue. Storm surges, like the one that battered the east coast of England last week, are predicted to become more severe. That's why defences along the coast are being built up. Here at Dimchurch in Kent, they're adding to the seawall. A lot of what we're trying to do here is to cope and adapt to climate change. We have rising sea levels and stormier weather and we are building these defences to actually support the defences that we've currently got which will um, reduce the risk to the people of Romney Arsh. Back at the futuristic conference hall in Valencia, we understand the main negotiations are now over. The hope is that getting the key countries and scientists to agree on the scale of the problem will be a start to tackling it. If these people were really, um, really, 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 really bothered about global warming, maybe they'd want to take a look at this. This, um, this machine here. the Perendev um, magnet motor. It's uh, free energy and it's bloody powerful. In fact NASA have actually bought one for the International Space Station or something, a 300 kilowatt one. Uh, the bloke's making them and pumping them out and you can uh, buy slash hire them for 19 grand for five years I think it is. Um, right now, why aren't the English government uh, demonstrating this technology to say this is a compromise so they're saying oh wind farms are the answer and solar energy is the answer no what about this I don't hear them talking about this at all I know this works I know for all well that works so that's the answer to global warming why aren't we doing it